Happy Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Oh, oh hey, on. is that showing correctly? Oh, it's the. Yeah, it's a Renpy thing. There it is. Yeah, it, it captured funny. It's it's a. Uh, uh, I guess that's like uh, the RPG maker of uh, visual novels, right? You would you would be correct. It's got some funny properties. I had to, I had to fiddle with it to get it capturing correctly. But uh, welcome to Wario Date, the Wario dating sim that the world needed, and <laughs> happily we got like a few years ago. This is like six or seven years old. Mm. And I know Vinny streamed it, which is how I heard about it. But he's the only one I saw do it, and I thought it would be funny for us to do, especially because there are many routes. It's Valentine's Day, and, and it oh, is Valentine's Day. Yes. And I haven't seen you all know, the routes. You know, and you know, unlike uh, unlike uh, After Dark stuff, this is, we probably won't get taken down. For yeah, this is something we can actually stream. Yep. Wario House, Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> oh, it, we don't even have to do the voices. It's got voices in it already. Nice. You find yourself on this one rotten day of the many rotten days that compose your life sitting atop your throne of garlic and enjoying a little TV as you think about all the ways you could ruin lives today. <laughs> Alright, that's good. <laughs> and practicing your patented stinky laugh. Stinky laugh. You take a break to throw a clove or two into your maw, but before the sound of your chewing drowns out the universe, a particularly appealing line or two catches your ear from the TV. Are you eating? Oh. I'm just I'm just getting some Tic Tacs. Oh. Because I... They're garlic flavored. Okay, that's that's appropriate then. Is it is it really for me? Of course, darling. All for you. But it must have been so expensive. There's no way I could accept this. It was. My entire life savings. But you're worth more than all the money in the world. There's nothing I wouldn't give for you. Oh no. Nothing? Oops. Nothing. Nothing. No You'd give nothing. me all the money in the world? Yes. All of it. All for me? Yes. All because you love me so much. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Please marry me. Oh, of course, of course I'd marry if you love me enough to truly give me all the money I could ever desire. We'll be right back uh, with Gold Digger on NBC. <laughs> I've, I've got, got it! Got Love! There's no force more powerful in the world than love! <laughs> Sounds like the perfect way to scam some chumps out of all their money! <laughs> it's perfect! No one will ever see it coming! Oh, how I love being evil! Oh, he, lo he loves... <laughs> oh, okay. Some things you should know before you begin playing. Okay. Tell us, narrator. I always have the option of prioritizing two things. Love and money. Oh, that's good. Making people fall for you is a great way to make money. Or garlic. But it can also have its costs. Lose sight of the gold and you'll end up broke. But on the other hand, if you'd rather give up riches for a life with your sweetheart, that's also an option. If you decide to risk it all on love, then keep in mind that your heart may get broken. At almost any point in the game, you'll have the option of leaving the conversation and returning home. <laughs> Screw you guys, I'm a going home. If you do this, you'll take all your money with you, but you won't be able to contact them again. I love that that's a feature. At any point in this visual novel, you can just fucking walk off. You can cut your ties with this person to save your money and not spend more on the date. Your wallet and your heart are both very fragile. Please treat them with care. Now, let your destiny unfold. This does feel like a Nintendo game so far. A weird Nintendo dating sim. This is a, this is a passion project. Someone spent a lot of time on this. It shows so far. Like you hop you know off what? your garlic pile and waddle over to the telephone. Yeah. Because it doesn't seem out of character for Wario. You would be the kind of person to be like, "That's it. I can get fall in love and I can get lots of money." It's exactly how Wario wear starts. Yeah. Now let's see who to scam. Mm. So, who do Mario. we call? We have Mario, Luigi, Waluigi, Bowser, a foreign specialist, we can check the power radar, or call it a day and admire yourself in the mirror. A foreign specialist? What the hell? 
The Mushroom Kingdom just doesn't have enough money for the likes of me. I know just the place to try. Hello? Hey. hey, yeah. I'm looking for, you know, this is brother. Yeah, is this Wario? Yeah. Just a sec. Who is it? Who, who are we calling? Hey, what'd he say? Go ahead and swing by. We'll hear, he'll hear you out. Are your, uh, are your speakers on? Yeah, oh, uh, sorry, my, my headphones are probably a bit too loud. Yeah, I can hear myself. I love the sound of myself. Ah. All right. Thank you. You hang up. Looks like you're going to be able to speak with him. So, it's time to hit the road. Or, well, you know, you gear up and hop on your bike. All the way to the pier you drive. Well, here goes nothing. You kick the sides of your hog and the wheels twist onto their sides. A rotor pops out underneath the bike tire. And it's just one heft before you're on the water. Oh, he's got he's got a he's got an Admiral Aokiji water bike. <laughs> and then in a few seconds, water is lapping up the sides of your machine and hitting you in the face. <laughs> it's a nice feeling. It'd be nicer if it wasn't a few hour trip. Oh, is he going to Hyrule? A few hours later, you see a, you see a vertical line arrive over the horizon. Is that it? Within a few minutes, you can fully make out the silhouette. Yeah! Yeah, this is it. You pull up onto the shore, pulling it up onto the grass so it doesn't drift away or anything. The sun catches your eye, and you pull an arm over your eyes as you look up at the massive, spinning figurehead atop the tower. Jeez. Even I don't have this big of an ego. Is, ah, well. Is it who I think it is? Time to get climbing! You feel eyes watching you from above as you waddle over the ladder and start climbing. Who, who do you think it is? What's your prediction? I think it's Ganon. Oh, hello there, Wario. As you reach the top, you're first greeted to the grunts of three men you've only briefly seen before. You're not eating anything. I'm chewing on breath mints. Okay, it's, garlic. Well, it's, it's very loud, garlic. <laughs> very audible. They can't spare but a tiny glance in your direction as you climb over the side. Not a word of greeting or a hand taken off the giant crank they are cursed to eternally wind. No immediate sign of the man you're looking for, but you know that as soon as you glance around the pole... There's a bit of spelling errors here. You but... tilt yourself to the side, inch by inch. Nothing yet. Who is it? When suddenly, from behind you, oh. Tingle! Oh no. You're knocked forward onto your face. Yup. Yup. You turn around to find him. There he is. Oh no. <laughs> Welcome. Yay. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't, it wasn't, isn't that Beetle? Or is that a Tingle line? That's Tingle. To Tingle Island. He sprinkles confetti all over you. Some gets in your mouth, but it dissolves quickly. Hey, yeah! Hey, Tingle! So, I guess in this game, it, it, it's positive. So this is... That's, so this is uh, mainly a, a, a yaoi romance. That's what's out beyond the Great Sea, is it's the Mushroom Kingdom. Wario, it's been a while. How have your business ventures been panning out? You know, hit and miss, really. Sorry, I'm not really here for small talk. You stand up and brush yourself off. I got to ask for advice. Advice? <laughs> yeah, you're rich, right? Yeah. These these are two of the, the greediest asshole Nintendo characters. <laughs> yeah, they, they deserve each other. It's just... <laughs> Especially if you, you, you... Have you watched anything from the Tingle games? No. They, it, I, I it really should have been a Wario game. It's all about money. Rupees <laughs> are your life bar. They're your attack power. They're everything in the Tingle game. That actually sounds pretty fun. You look warily at Ankle, Knuckle, and David Jr. <laughs> Dave, Dave, can we just call him Dave? You are <laughs> wealthy. Yes, 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 this is true. So you'd like to help on getting rich, would you? Tingle mm -hmm. is very curious as to why you might want so much money. Well, oh. why do you? <laughs> That's a secret. 
Do not ask Tingle such things. It's just uh, it's... it's Cicero from Skyrim. <laughs> it's a secret. Tingle's past is very dark and layered. You do not wish to know of the details. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> well, I just want to get rich. I like rich. That's all. Hmm. Yes. Tingle think, believes he knows of a way that you might get what you desire. Really? Go on then. Become my trophy husband. Should be right. Tingle digs around in his pockets. Here. Eh? What's that? My friend, it is a map. Do you not know what a map when you see one? Perhaps you could use a map map. <laughs> Tingle is only kidding. Yes, this map. Oh, it's quite a treasure indeed. Well, uh, what's it for? Is it is it cursed? Do we have to flatter it in order to get it to do what we want? Oh, yeah. Fucking... Fucking Wakfu is weird sometimes. Fucking map, you gotta suck its dick in order to get it, get it to give you what you want. It's said to lead to the super secret location of the all hailed Ru Power. Ru Power. Ru dot Power. It's a it's a Russian torrenting website. It's an ancient rupee that legends say is able to purchase anything in the world, no matter the cost. Oh, a zillion dollar bill. <laughs> it's quite a spectacle. Unfortunately, Tinkle has been so busy running things here, he has not had the time to go seek out this mystical artifact himself. You mean keeping slaves? Your your yeah. brothers as slaves. <laughs> well, no, I guess they they yeah, he's... more or less willing. David is the one that he's got trapped on the island, unable to leave. Yeah, uh, Tingle Tingle is the uh, he's the he's the head Tingle. That's not even that's not even made up for this game. That's canon to Wind Waker. David Junior <laughs> is working as a slave on Tingle Island. Maybe maybe his mom sent him there. He's like, no, you gotta build character. You're going to Tingle Island, and he's like, I don't want to be here. I think he washed up on shore. Is what the like the trophy says. Oh, that's what he says. His mom is he? Just, he'll he'll say anything to get out of work. He has no use for it. Mm, all right, what's it gonna cost me? Why, for you, a mere ten rupees. Whoa. Only ten? How much is that in, in, in Mushroom Kingdom coins? <laughs> What's the exchange rate between Hyrulean currency and Mushroom Kingdom currency? Tingle values his friends above all else. It is a far greater value to you than Tingle. Well, will you take it? I don't know if I can trust this guy. I don't know if you could trust this guy. Do we buy it? Yes, yes or no? It's yeah, only we, 10 we, rupees. Oh, yeah. Fantastic! Then the map is all yours. He hands you the map. Oh no. It's a, a fine scam, purchase. Isn't it? Now. Actually, no. That'll Tingle. be 10 rupees, please. That does something I realize is that is that Tingle sells maps and and he's his maps are actually pretty good despite him being well greedy. Yeah. Yeah, sure. You reach into your pockets and pull out ten coins to hand to him. He spent. He spends a minute counting them in his hand. What? This won't do! What? No, no, you see, these are coins! The price is ten rupees! Alright, well, uh, how many coins is that? Tingle would put it at about... Zero point zero 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 one or so. Wait, so one rupee is point zero 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 one <laughs> coins? Oh. What? Yes, your coins mean very little here. But no trouble, I'm sure a traveled man such as yourself has more than your share of rupees, right? Yeah, well, uh... No. Never mind, I don't want the map. Dingle is afraid you can't do that, Wario. For you see, that, he pulls another piece of paper out of his pocket. Wow. You've already signed for it. I did oh. not. <laughs> Shit, you got swindled. Your signature's right here. You grab the paper from his hands and stare at the signature. It's yours, but how? But I... I didn't! Tingle is very sorry, Mr. Wario, but if you don't have the money, 
Wait, no, I can, uh, I'll go cut grass. There's money in that, right? Well, that would be reasonable, except, as you might have to imagine, I've had many clients say something similar, and more often than not, I'll never hear from them again. So, as a matter of insurance, Yay! I've already impounded your vehicle. Not my bike. You leap to look over the railing, and sure enough, it's gone. What did you do with it? Fret not, Tingle always takes very good care of his assets. No harm shall befall it, and Tingle assures you that the very second you pay me what I'm owed, you'll have it back safe and sound. For now, well, Tingle supposes you could simply work it off. Keeping my tower spinning is a very costly expense, after all. I hate you. <laughs> you. I hate you. Sadly, there's no choice. Tingle has already gone through the trouble of installing an extra handle, as well as having this special outfit tailor-made just for you. Oh, oh, we're gonna see. <sighs> he holds up a tiny yellow jumpsuit that looks just like his own. Consider it a gift from Tingle. Oh, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Uh. <laughs> you can't. You'd better get changed, Wario. You've got a lot of debt to pay off. Yes, By the way, like... your new name is Winkle. <laughs> I, I can't Wario just, like, kick his ass or something? He's strong. Don't worry, Tingle won't look. Just come see me when you've gotten yourself changed. No. No! No. So is this, does this count as a bad end? Bad end. Oh, wow. That... <laughs> well, Wario date was often, fun. By the way. <laughs> So I guess the correct answer is just to say no. Oh, I guess, yeah. All right, well, let's, I forgot there let's was a choice no on that route. Yeah. Uh. Remember to save. Yeah, I'll skip up often. to the choice. All right. Oh, I can't save now. Well, I, I won't go. buy it. No, that's okay. Huh? Are you sure? Are you sure? Sit, sit, save. Yes. I can't. I can't save once I'm at a choice. Hit, hit yes, and then go down to save. Yeah, I'm good. It's a one of a kind item. This map is the very same drawn by the one who buried the rule power long, long ago. No, no thanks. thanks. I'm good. I'll throw in another. Buy now, and you'll receive. A map to all the garlic in the world at no extra cost. What do you say? Hot dog! <laughs> it's probably just gonna go to the same Still no. Well, if you're sure. He puts the map away. If that's all you were here for, then you should be on your way. My poor tower can only hold so much weight, after all. Bye! From behind, <sighs> Ankle, Knuckle, and David Jr. all push you off. Ah! You land hard on the ground below. You can't really fault the three of them for it. Tingle has them by the noses. Boy, you'd hate to end up like those guys. Gee, I wonder how that could happen. Still, what a waste of time. You push your ski bike back into the water and head back home. Let's see. Well, who to scam? Well, we can't scam the master, apparently. Apparently not. Uh, let's call Luigi. He's rich. <laughs> that loser will do anything for a little recognition. I hear he's loaded with all that mansion looting, too. It's perfect! You dial Luigi's number. Hey. Hey. He sounds like he was sleeping. It's 3 a.m. Hey, my cousin, <laughs> Luigi! Cousin, don't say that. This isn't... This isn't fucking... Wario? <laughs> what is it? Oh, oh, it isn't every oh, anime. Oh, step cousin. Uh, what's up? I was just, uh, taking a nap. Mm -hmm. Do you want something? Yeah, uh... How are you doing? Can I come over? <laughs> How are you doing? How, how are you doing today? Oh, hi, Luigi. How are you doing? 
Uh, I'm a fine, I guess. I'm just uh, relaxing at home. It's a busy year, so I'm taking all the chances I can for some downtime. You? Oh, uh, you know. Same old, same old. Kinda bored, actually. Think I could, uh, stop by. That Gee. was a fake voice. That was a fake choice. Just. Gee, gee I don't know, Rick! <laughs> I don't know, Wario. I'm kind of enjoying some quiet today. You know? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, uh, let me know if you change your mind. Oh. Sure. See you around! He hung up. <laughs> Alright, how am I gonna do this? If I can get Luigi to let me into his place, then it'll be a cinch to steal his stuff. This is this is just how Mario Land 2 started. Yeah, it's he, just him he's... just stealing Mario's... How did Mario get a fucking castle, by it the didn't way? It la didn't last. Yeah. Was he just renting it and Wario kicked him out? Oh no, I got like, to get him out! I don't have renter's insurance! It's like when, uh, it's like when you get a, t a timeshare at a beach and then your fucking greedy-ass cousin kicks you out of the timeshare and you try to fight to get it back. It's Mario has a timeshare castle. There was a, uh, there was a Kim Possible episode where Draken has to resort to using a villain's timeshare lair. <laughs> oh, I hate this! I, you know who else would have used a timeshare lair? Fucking Drago. Oh, that, yeah. That lame dude. He couldn't afford that. <laughs> no, he, he, he lived he in a squat. dump. <laughs> he would squat in a timeshare lair. Luigi's so paranoid, I don't think I could do it unless he knew I was already there. Maybe just stop by and knock on the door and go, hey, hey. Oh. So I got to get him, him to there. invite me. But how? Hmm. Hmm. That's a good question. <laughs> I'll scare him into wanting some company. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna do Scooby Doo. All I gotta do is make him think there's something scary, and then it'll be all over me. Eh? Or well, I guess I could take him to a scary movie or something. <gasps> but that costs money. No way I'll be doing that. Now let's pay old Luigi a visit. You hop on your motorcycle and ride off towards Luigi's home. It's a pretty fancy place. Would have cost a fortune if he didn't steal it from some ghosts. Those poor ghosts. You can't imagine the pain you'd go through if some chump just up and barged into your place and stole all your money. Oh, yep. But what better way to avenge their spirits than to steal their stolen stuff? It's dark over here, inexplicably, so that should make good cover. You park your loud hog behind a couple trees so he doesn't suspect anything. Then, slowly, you tiptoe up to the building as quietly as you can. There's, I think there's like a decision coming up. Oh, uh, quick, no, I wanted to do like a... Oh, I overwrote the, the previous one, I think. Yeah. And peek through one of the front windows. Luigi's sleeping on his, in his chair in front of the TV. Hmm. First things first, you're gonna have to wake him up somehow. You won't be able to leave until you finish spooking Luigi. What will you do? What will I do? Yell in his window at Doug, make fake thunder, shake his entire house. <laughs> <laughs> Wario could probably do all of these things. Should we shake the house? Shake the house. You bend down and stick your hands through the patio boards to grab onto the bottom of the house. <laughs> you rustle the entire thing around a lot. Some things inside fall and break. Ow. Oh. You hear him jump out of his chair and everything. Who's there? You hear footsteps. He's walking over to the window to investigate. You don't want him seeing you. You run around the corner where he can't see you, and wait a oh, bit. Oh, the assat- the, uh, the, uh, hitman method. He hello Hello? Kick a trash can, <laughs> make weird noises with your body. <laughs> I'm a ghost, I, here to haunt you! I think just- just take- okay, make weird noises, because if you kick a trash can, then he probably would just find you. You give your body free reign to make whatever weird sounds it wants. He's gonna fart. It, apply, it gonna applies fart. happily. 
<laughs> Who's there? <laughs> you hear the front door open. A flashlight clicks on. He's coming to investigate. Here's a good chance to sneak inside. He's just gonna come back inside and find Wario. Hey, cuz! How, how will you I'm get around him? Uh, on top of the patio roof or under the floorboards. Oh God, this is tough. Um, go, go, uh, go over because he can't. He's not big. He's too big. He can't crawl under. Good, good animation. Oh, oh wait, <laughs> no, I made a mistake because he's so fat. He's just gonna fall through the roof and land on Luigi. You jump up and Shit. climb onto the patio's roof. He peeks around the corner. Hey, hello. When you finally hear his footsteps reach the railing, you run for it. He hears your footsteps above him quite clearly. You waddle as fast as you can and then swing down and through the door. Luigi gulps. You hear his footsteps again. He's gonna come back inside. Oh no. Where will you hide? Behind the TV, the That's closet, or under his chair? Uh, the closet. No, I'm in the choice. closet. It, it, it always works in Hitman. You hide in the closet, nobody it will see you because they don't think to look for you. You dash into the closet and shut the doors. Hopefully, this doesn't turn into a, like a twenty-season uh, hip hop opera. <laughs> Going in the closet, and then like nineteen, night like fifty episodes later. Then the toad begins to wake up. And I'm still in the closet. And I'm trapped in the closet. And she comes to the closet. So I pull out my hammer. He opens the closet. 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 Hello. He steps back inside and turns his flashlight off. You hear him step around a little looking for whoever was here. You shake yourself around so that the closet shakes. But we, we wouldn't do that. What? He noticed. Maybe it wasn't the best idea. Wario, you idiot. He starts walking towards you. So you push forward and let the closet fall on top of him. You just, just committed manslaughter. Good job, Wario. Like a wardrobe? While he's trapped underneath, you punch a hole through the back and escape. <laughs> this is your chance to get out of that room. You run into the kitchen. What is this? <laughs> you spot the circuit breaker. Tear it apart or chew it apart? <laughs> just don't chew Come it. Come on. Chew it. We gotta okay, chew, it. chew it. He's Wario. Chew it. Yeah. You open your mouth and just rip the whole thing apart with your mighty teeth. <laughs> the lights go off and you hear Luigi shriek from the other room. A flashlight clicks on. As soon as that's on the floor, you hop up into the pantry. Wow, some wow. pretty nice food in here. Some pretty nice food in here. Who's there? He kicks the dismantled breaker. <laughs> this, is just, this is just Wario being a dick to Luigi. <laughs> it Wait. seems like he's followed you into the kitchen. You hear the sound of him opening the fridge. It's a good thing you didn't go there, but... Wow, you're feeling kind of hungry. <laughs> you just eat, You go in here, you, you turn out his lights, you eat his food, you, you shove a dresser on top of him. Hey, do you love me yet? <laughs> I want... This is me saying you, we should get married. Man, I wish I knew some girls. Anybody there? You gotta throw him off your trail before he peeks in here. Throw your voice or eat the food. <laughs> eat the food. You let your hunger get the better of you and eat all the food you can find. <laughs> ah! He hears her eating. It's too late it's to stop. Too late to stop. Oh, but these garlic flavored Tic Tacs are so delicious. <laughs> He's coming to open the pantry. Something in the other room falls down. Huh? How is that the right option? Illusion of choice. You hear him walk out of the kitchen. Phew. You crack open the door to see where he is. Looks like there's a clear shot through the living room and back outside. Yeah, so that's a net zero. You've probably scared him enough. Time to put part two of your plan into action. Yeah, let's do it. You dash out the pantry and all the way back outside. Phew. Okay. Okay. Let's try this. Knock, knock. 
You hear another crash from inside. Hmm. Maybe, maybe this was a, a, such a good idea after all. Luigi opens the door, rubbing his head. Hello? Hey, hey Luigi! Luigi. <laughs> hey, Luigi, my cousin! Oh, Wario. What is it? I was just driving by and saw your lights go out. Thought I'd make sure everything was all right. Mm. I, I think there's something in my house. Uh, really? Yeah, I... I can't find it, though. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but... Well, I don't want to call Mario, so... Mm -hmm. Will you keep me company? <laughs> oh, yes, there we go, that blush. What are friends for? <clears throat> you step inside, trying to keep your sinister laughs to yourself. Cue the funk music. So, I, I, I know, so Wario can get money in any other game, but this is the only game he can get love, so I imagine what we, we should do is we should aim for the romantic ending for all of them. Yeah? Yeah. All the power's out, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Offer to light some candles or take his flashlight. Offer to light some candles, that's like the most... Grip his flashlight firmly. Just... How about, about I that? light some candles? Oh, good idea! No problem. Here. You pull out some matches and walk over to the candles on top of the fireplace. You light a match and one by one light them all up. Yeah, it's romantic, see? Look at this. Look, yeah. look at how this oozes erotic appeal. It's better already. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> well, I guess, <laughs> guess napping's out. Oh, oh. I mean, no way I could sleep thinking there's something out there. Offer to watch guard, offer to sleep for him. <laughs> I can... Ooh, what? wait, what? What is that? <laughs> That's such a Wario choice. I can sleep for you. <laughs> Why don't you just go home and sleep then? Uh, forget I said anything. Guess it's kinda boring though. I don't have any board games or anything. Hmm. You're gonna have to steal something sometime. What would be a good excuse? Aha! I got it! Hmm? Hmm? Truth or dare? It, t truth or dare? Sure! Why not? Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I suppose. Nothing weird, okay? Should help get oh, me my, my mind off of, uh, whatever that was. But, where, where I come from, we play truth or dare with our wallets. How does that even work? Huh? You can choose to path a truth or dare by paying up. 50 coins for a truth, 100 coins for a dare. That's like so 0.0001 0. rupees. Yes. Although, War how, how many coins does Wario make in Wario World? He, he'd have at least a few rupees. He'd have tens worth. Yeah. So, by the way, I guess Hyrule Kingdom is, like, way richer than uh, than Mushroom Kingdom in this universe if the fucking exchange rate is that poor, where, like, 100 rupees could buy out the, the uh, extra life economy. It's full of treasure, but no one wants to go there because all the races are constantly warring and there's a calamity every 100 years or so. <sighs> Yeah, Mushroom Kingdom is a lot more peaceful. Here, yeah, all you have to deal with is, like, Bowser Kingdom, and even then, it's not very destructive wars. What do you say? Okay, I guess. <laughs> Excellent! You can either try to force him into giving up and paying you money, or think of ways to distract him so that you can steal things. Uh, okay, I guess, I guess romance is out of the question. You're just gonna steal shit. Also, your honor prevents you from leaving during a game. <laughs> Ow. That Wario honor. I'll even let you go first. Okay. Uh, truth or dare? Uh. Truth. Okay. Um. Oh. Favorite color? Red. Green. 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 Really? You're just saying that. Nope. <laughs> All right, my turn. <gasps> Truth or dare? Yeah. Truth. Let's see. Biggest fear, favorite sport. 
I, I, oh man, what does the author think uh, his favorite sport is? Then again, Luigi's afraid of everything, so his biggest fear. Oh, geez, this is a tough one. Dying Surprising. alone. Oh, dang. What's your favorite sport? Oh, I, I guess tennis. Oh, really? Es Me too. <laughs> especially with teams. <laughs> Maybe we can be a team sometime. Yeah. 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 That sounds fun. Wow. Fucking Luigi is like. His, his artwork's actually kind of the artwork's very limited, but the but the off but the dude makes it work. It, like, it captures the essence of the characters. Okay, my turn. Truth or dare? Uh. What the? F okay, we gotta do a dare at some point, I guess. Okay, I dare you to. <laughs> Turn out all the candles and spin around in circles. Eh? Too scared? Do it. Okay. <laughs> you got it! <laughs> you stand up and blow all the candles out. Okay, now spin around. <laughs> Steal stuff, it's... Good, Good idea. idea. Instead of spinning around, you walk over to a draw and open it up. There's 200 coins worth of money just sitting there. <laughs> That's we crazy. I, you know what? <laughs> Wario sounds like a, like he he be he's fun at parties despite being a thief. He's like he's like the kind of guy who uh, who would um, he, you'd have a good time with them and you'd find out that your money's stolen. But he's like you know he stole all my money. But last night was really awesome. So that's just the price of services rendered. Yeah. Are you doing it? Yeah. Uh, ah. yeah, totally. Okay, you can stop. He lights the candles back up. Wowzer, you the best. Oh, thank you, Luigi. Good job. Uh, yeah. yeah, sure. This is fun. Oh, yeah. You oh, bet it is. <laughs> now it's my turn. Truth. I... <laughs> Enough games. Let's get serious. Truth or dare? Oh yeah. Mm, dare. Perfect. Give me all your money. Give me a hug, cousin. <laughs> we already got 200 coins from him. That's fine. I dare you to give me a hug. Uh, huh? Really? Yes. Why? Are you gonna do it or not? <laughs> this is great. It's not weird. Come on. I don't smell much. Yeah, okay. He stands up as you do. He wraps his arms as far around <laughs> your body as he can. Oh man, I love MS Paint Mario American Gothic. Thank you. Thank you. That felt kind of nice, actually. Looks like he's warming up to you. All right, your turn. Truth or dare? Uh, hmm. We did truth the last couple times. So no, we did dare okay. the last time. Oh, okay. Maybe right, he'll truth. be more daring. Uh, uh, well, maybe. Hmm. Well, truth, then. Let's see. Hmm. Do you like me? Ah! Uh. Wow. Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. He doesn't say anything back. Things are awkward for a minute. All right, my this turn. Like, this is fucking teenage shit. It's funny as hell. Let's put a cap on this thing. We're already wearing caps. What are you talking about? Truth or dare? Yeah. Dare. Kiss me. <laughs> Let me leave. I dare you to kiss me. What? <laughs> Go on. Yeah. Pucker yeah. up. Okay. Okay. He leans in. His eyes are closed and he's shaking a little bit. Obviously, nerd. <laughs> happy, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Happy Val Valentine's Day. You feel bad and move the rest of the way for him. You both draw back quickly. G good work. Hey. <laughs> Thanks. The, the, more, Mario's gonna be like, wait, you got married to Wario? Yeah, it happened very suddenly. 
We're both combining our wealth, and now we're both richer than ever. Wario seems to like that. Mario's never going to be able to compete with their riches. Things feel a little awkward from there. The two of you sit opposite each other, not really sure what to say. Uh, well, I guess it's your turn. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> no, no, I... Uh, I mean... Maybe... Could we... Could we what? Could we just... Could we just go... Do that again? <laughs> Do it! Do if, it. You'd if you'd like! <laughs> yes. I did, did Vinny get to this point? I don't recall. I, I think he did... I think he did all but the Mario routes. A hand you know, if this and is... I think he avoided the really weird stuff. Stuff <laughs> like this? Maybe. I do it's been a long time since I saw. A hand lands on your chest, fingers hooking underneath <laughs> overall straps. He undoes your bra. <laughs> this is this is what I live for. It's just weird it's just somebody going into weird ideas like this. Hey, what if Wario and Luigi hooked up? Let's write a fucking fanfic about it. And before you know it, you have to lay your hands on the ground to keep yourself from falling backwards. L I love th this is tense moment occurs where your eyes meet both aware of the situation but unsure of what to do with it quite yet this music is so unfitting by the way before either of you can come to a conclusion you go for it lips meet mustaches swirl a hand lands at luigi's back eyes shut you can only feel the weight of him on top of you and the tremble of his lips on yours i wish there was art for this but suddenly you both hear a small puff the candles have gone out. Luigi takes his lips off yours to look up towards the fireplace. Uh, uh, should I? No, no, this is just fine. <laughs> eh? He pushes you all the way onto the floor, straddling your bulbous belly, and fits his mouth onto yours like lock and key once again. Oh boy, I think I'm getting the vapors just reading this. Between heavy kisses, he confesses. I love you, Wario. And before you can even return the gesture, he pulls you up by the straps of your overalls. Come on. My bed's a lot more comfortable. <laughs> eh? You're not scared in the dark? Not when I'm with you. <laughs> yes. With you I by my it. side. How could I be? The end. All right, that's... I consider that a good end, wouldn't we you? We got a Luigi ending. All right. Luigi end. That's funny. Not funny. That was a, just like him. <laughs> that's a that's a power couple right there. So I guess it's whether you are like successful in the ma in the matchmaking or else you fuck up and they send you home. Yeah, you can leave anytime you want to. And if you fuck up, that option is removed from your uh, from your list. All right, so we got Wario, Mario, Waluigi, Bowser, the Power is Radar. Waluigi Oh god, so Waluigi is the fucking incest route? Is that is that They're what not, I'm at? They were retconned to not be brothers. Damn it! They were only Why? stated to be brothers in, the, well, like, Mario Tennis, the manual. But I, like, to, I like it better to think they are, but I don't know what this game goes with. So what is so what is Nintendo positing, then? They just are... They're what, just like, two bad dudes who met each other and play, decided to play <laughs> tennis. It's like a biker and uh, and fucking a lawyer. Maybe like he didn't friends. look anything like Waluigi. You know what? We're talking about Waluigi. We should just do the Waluigi route now. Yeah, let's do it. That guy will do anything I say. I better get him on board before anything else. You dial his number. Huh? Huh? Hello? Uh, hey, cousin! I just I just like that some... that line that hey. Hey, I wonder what, I wonder what these what lines are from. WarioWare, maybe? Uh, probably. Some Wario games would have to be. So, okay, so I guess it'd be funny if if Wario was like, Hey, brother! And, and uh, while he's like, we're not brothers, but okay. Click. Like that pic Thump. Like that picture of, uh, of, of like, Bayonetta <laughs> going to Joker and being all, like, to Joker, like, come to mommy, and Joker's like, I'm not your, I'm not your son. So he just told Wal Waluigi, hey, get over here, and then hung and up. Like, yeah, that's it. He's kind of a dick. Waluigi, 
Suddenly, you hear a knock at your door. You go to answer it. Wait, he hung up and was like, Waluigi. It's Waluigi, sweating profusely with his hands on his knees. This is something I, I kind of am curious about, because this has been something that... Dude, these noses are fake, aren't they? Yeah, they that's what I was like... going to say. You think he wasn't Waluigi, and then Wario teamed up with him and made him into Waluigi? See, here's the thing about Waluigi, is that he's actually a Hylian. That's why they're not brothers. That's true. Well, Wario also has pointy ears. He's half Hylian. Yeah. He's, uh, he's co cousin, right? Because Mar uh, Mario's father's brother, like Dr. Mario, Dr. Luigi, uh, hooked up with a Hylian woman, and that's how uh, that's how Wario came about. Now, how does Dr. He's Goomba half... Tower fit into this? Dr. Goomba Tower? Uh... He's there, You're uh, aware he's there, he's of all the orderly. stupid characters in the Mario in the Doctor Mario mobile game, right? There's a Doctor. There's a Doctor Mario. <laughs> yes, there is actually a Doctor Goomba Tower. There's a Doctor Dry Bowser, Doctor Baby Wario. It's stupid. Doctor Dry Bowser. I am a lich. Would you go to a skeleton as a doctor? I mean. I mean, he would, presumably he'd be unaffected by, like, hunger and thirst and stuff. He could operate forever. He can't spread the corona. He's the safest yeah. doctor to go he's to. Got no, he ain't got no lungs. <laughs> <laughs> he still wears a mask, though, because he's, he's sanitary. It's about setting an example. Yes. You'll, you'll need at me. <laughs> yeah, come on in. You step back to let him room to get in. You probably shouldn't ditch Waluigi today. You have to maintain a certain level of commitment with him, so best to see it through to the end. Yeah, you could ditch him anytime you want to. Actually, no, you should. You what you took want some you water? so long? Uh, <laughs> Do you need some water? <laughs> I, I, I'd say he. Yeah, he's like, you need some water or something? Uh, Do you need some water? Eh? Oh, uh, yeah. You hand him a glass and he chugs it pretty quickly. So, uh, what did you need? Hmm. Perhaps you could use him to get money from others. How good are you at the dating? <laughs> Look, on the last route, Luigi broke into his house and trashed him, and then afterwards, he just <laughs> he trashed Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> All according to plan. <clears throat> God, you think this game should have, like, a hair around? <laughs> <You> just... <laughs> Do we know that it doesn't? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I, I think I, I, there's I... a way to, uh... I'm surprised that ended, because I thought the way it went was that you'd get through a route, you would, like, get their money, and then you'd go back and move on to the next one. Apparently not. That was a proper ending. Yeah, because I guess we were too... We I guess the less the I love know. ending. Like, if you go all money, and, like, all business, you can just rob them and then get go home. Yeah, but you know what? I'll, it's Valentine's Day. We should go all love ending. Well, Luigi already does a lot for you. That should be, uh, should be easy to get him to work with you. Yeah. But if you want him to sense. like it, and you, then it's probably a good idea to treat him fairly. But that might not get you all the money you want, either. We're gonna make some money today! Money. money? Yeah! Yeah! Money! You, you've never let me help you make money before! What? Of course I have! It's always just a sports trophy or something. You have all those other friends to help you make money. Oh, who's he talking about? Oh, yeah, well, uh... I... You're <laughs> cheaper! <laughs> But I need you this time. You're highly and you can get the rupees. You know how busted the exchange rate is? I need you this time. What? Really? Yes. Yes. Anyway, we're gonna get me rich tonight. Right. You. I just realized something. Yeah? Basically, Wario looks like Mario, except he's got that stupid nose and mustache. And the, like, the other uh, bags in his eyes. The chin. Yeah. But yeah, he does look. He looks like, like Mario, but completely different. He looks like Mario where it counts. So, uh, what's the plan? First, give me all your money. <laughs> We're gonna invest it. No, uh, scam some toads. That sounds easy. Yeah! I assume he was talking about like the WarioWare characters. Oh, 
Yeah, that's his corp. That's his employees. That's different. We're gonna he's, go scam some toads. He's, he's no Michael Scott. That's for sure. Toads? Yeah. Yes. Those stupid losers will fall for anything. All, all right. You step outside with Waluigi behind you. So, Toad Town, then. Yes. Yes. Waluigi stands silently, waiting for something. Let him on your hog. Tell him yeah. to walk. <laughs> Let him on your hog. That sounds sexier than it uh, than it is. You hop on your hog and pat the seat behind you. Ah. Come on, ride with me. Waluigi's eyes light up. Yeah. Really? Wahoo. Yes. Now grab my sides and straddle my hog. <laughs> <laughs> Just sit on this screen for a second. This is a good out of context screen. This is a good. This is a good fucking uh, thumbnail too. <sighs> I'm gonna say this right now. He's so happy. He's never gotten to ride your hog before. He lifts a leg Whee! over one side and grabs your love handles. <laughs> you start up your bike and hit the road. <laughs> Waluigi. Waluigi strikes me as like an, an easily entertained guy. He's just yeah, happy he to be there. Waluigi's yeah, but... knees stick out way too far and hit some road signs on the way. He yelps in pain with each one, but that's not really your fault, so whatever. Whatever. You arrive at Toad Town. I like that he just uses uh, Paper Mario sprites for this. We got work to do. Are you, sh are you sure we should pick on little toads? Oh yeah! What do they care? They're too stupid to know what yeah. they're missing. Us, us, us last humans got to stick together. The last of humanity. All, all Except six he's half of them. Hylian. But I, Hylians are human, a race I'm... of humans. <clears throat> well, I mean, they're okay. Yeah, you're right. That, 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 I it... mentioned before there are like regular non-Hylian humans in Twilight Princess. And there's no fanfare, no mention of it being out of place. It's just, they're just there, and it's weird. You, you round ears. You look around the plaza for an easy target. Blue Toad, Purple Toad, Pink Toad, Red... Fuck Blue Toad! Blue Toad can get out of these Mario games. Let's try that one over there. You, you know what's great about Mario 3D World? Is that you've what? got Mario, and Luigi, and Princess, and Toad. Not Toad and Blue Toad. <laughs> we don't need two fucking Toads. Get out of here, Blue Toad. <laughs> Blue to <laughs> How many Toads? All the Toads. The two of you walk up to a Blue Toad who's huddled up against a wall facing away from you. <laughs> Aww. He's got like Blue a, a Pac-Man tattoo. Blue Toad's feelings are hurt that you told him get the fuck out of here. Hey. Look at, he's crying at you. No response. Hey, yo! Still nothing. Hey, Bozo! What? what? What are you doing? The toad sighs. Nothing? She returns to sulking as though you'd never been there. Oh, that's a... Oh, it's like a like a apron yeah. dress kind of thing. Yell at her. Hey, Waluigi, you can do something, right? You're, you're Wait. good with people. Wait, if you tell him to do it, does, does that count as, like... A, I don't know. You you make or... the call, Jack. You know what? Get Waluigi to deal with it, maybe. I trust you. Wow, really? Hey, you know what to do. Yeah, let me try. Waluigi kneels down and puts a hand on the toad's shoulder. <laughs> hey, are you okay? The toad looks up at him. Those are some, like, PTSD eyes on the toad. <laughs> That's like some... If you just paint the toad red, have a re hyper-realistic blood going down those eyes, you got yourself a creepypasta. No! Do you want to talk about it? Can you help me? Wow, you never realized that Waluigi was so... fatherly. Why am I so good at these games? He looks so mature right now. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. What's your yeah. name? Teal Toad. Teal Toad. Teal. Oh, because teal's blue. But it, the format is like blank T. Whatever. Ah, uh, teal. Teal Toad. I don't know. Still looks blue to me. 
So, uh, what's the matter? Well... <laughs> it's about my girlfriend. Girlfriend, ah! Uh. Yeah. Wow. This is, this is a, a, a like... <laughs> just, wow. She, I, I like this. She's supposed to come beat my f family tonight for dinner, but... But? I'm nervous. I don't think my family will be nice to her. They're, They're conservatives. Christian. Close enough. <laughs> They get un <laughs> uncomfortable around chain <laughs> oh, no. chomps. Nope, they're racist. If they don't like her, they won't let me see her anymore. I don't know what I'll do if that happens. I love my family. I don't want to leave them or Liza Chomp. Uh, do do she I do? Do she do she Tetsuo! <laughs> it chain chomp, huh? Give, give me money, that'll fix things. You are, you gotta lie. <laughs> Neither one is a good... We I do like decide. money. Yeah, we do, we do really enjoy money. Give me mo- Waluigi slaps his hand over your mouth. It's not going to work. Uh, I mean... Well, uh, obviously she has to lie, right? Why? Yeah. I don't want to lie to my family. Well, uh, not for a long time. What do you mean? All right, All right this is All genius, right. so listen up. First, you disguise a lizard chump as a toad. <laughs> <laughs> then, after your family already likes her, <laughs> reveal the truth. They'll thank you for helping them get past their preconceptions about chomps. Do you really think that'd work? It sounds like a good plan to me! This is all dumb. Okay, but how should I disguise her? Hmm. What do you think, Waluigi? Let me tell you! <laughs> do we let Waluigi handle it, or do we handle well, Waluigi, it? Waluigi, Wal Waluigi got through her, uh, her, like, got to her, so I think... I hope he's... yeah, do it. Yeah, highly ins... Uh, are... What do you <laughs> think, Waluigi? <laughs> Me? And uh, well... I guess you'd need something like that, uh, cap thing. I have some fungus growing underneath my bike. That might work. And then, uh, do you have any clothes big enough? I have some elastic ones. Perfect! Oh. What you need, what you need is a fucking super crown, and you put it on top of her of of her head, and then she turns into. Uh, this into this is her. my girlfriend, Chompette. Despite her name, she's actually a toad wearing a super crown. That's why she looks like that. That should be That's more than enough. I'll go get the fungus. Waluigi will go get the fungus. I'll get the fun. We gotta pull our weight somehow. That's a lot of weight to pull. I'll go get the fungus. <laughs> Waluigi here can discuss a price. <laughs> right? <laughs> you waddle to your hog and scrape some fungus off the bottom. This is terrible. We gotta lie to him. Here, have some of my bike fungus. By the time you return, Waluigi's already figured out your fee. It's going for 250 coins. This is some very rare fungus after all, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Thank you both so much. I'm going to grab the clothes and go tell her about the plan right now. <laughs> Perfect. T Toad runs off. Do you think what we did was right? Uh, it might not actually work. Do you think we ruined anything for her? They had to find out eventually. The more you worry about your family's approval, the worse off you'll be when you need to make yourself happy. In the end, I think they'll know what the right choice is. If her family can't accept their happiness, then good riddance. You can't keep people like that around you all the time. It isn't healthy. Life lessons from Wario. Yeah, this is... Wow. wow. That's deep, Wario. Who next? Oh, purple toad. Is that the is that the drug addict? 
Toad. How about that one? Mm. Uh, I don't like scamming purple people. Be quiet, let's go. The two of you walk over to the purple toad. He's standing oh, wow. on top of a crate and peering into a window. What? what? What's he doing? Heck if I know. Hey, you toad, what are you doing? Huh? He turns around to look at you. Who are you? That's not important. What are you doing? Does somebody rich live here? This is my house. And I wouldn't say I'm rich, but... Ben, what are you doing? Oh, well, my name's King Booty. <laughs> King, King Booty. Booty. Yes, King Booty. It's not actually my birth name. I had it changed. They don't let you get rid of that T, so I figured I wasn't doing any harm. I'm King Boo's number one fan. King Boo, eh? He's so cool. A little scary, but that's part of his charm. I'm the founder of his fan club. It's still just me, though. So, uh, what are you doing, then? Oh, I think my house might be haunted. I'm waiting to see if a boo comes out. You gotta, you gotta get one of those spectrometers. Like, hire, hire a ghost hunter. They're professionals. <laughs> Oh man, I remember uh, the guy, uh, this YouTuber Ralph the Movie Maker, was talking about bad ghost hunting shows, and he was talking about like the prevalence of psychic mediums on there, and he's like, "Yeah, let's see, hear what this psychic medium has to say." And then she's like, walks into the house, she's like, first thing I notice walking house is a is a portal," and he's like, "Oh, of course, a portal!" <laughs> just, I'm like, "That's ridiculous for a psychic medium to claim that." Yeah. I, Walked in and I saw a portal. Have you seen the one? Speaking of portal, you can't see it. It's invisible. Oh yeah. Have you seen the one where the guy finds the cake is a lie written on the wall, and he's trying to analyze it like it's a special message from ghosts from hundreds of years ago? <laughs> well, obviously the metaphor here is that he was poisoned by a cake. Clearly. I'm waiting to see if a boo comes out. I think we're also coming up on an Ursa Yatsura episode about, like, uh, a, a bunch of a TV crew making one of those bullshit paranormal hunting shows. At Edikaru's house. Maybe I can convince them to take me to King Boo. Haunted, eh? Let me take a look. Just you climb up on the crate and peer through the window. Nothing seems off about it. Tell you what, King Booty. I'll go look around. We'll go look we'll around. Go. I'll go look around. Let's well, Waluigi can stand guard. I'll go look around. You mean we, oh, right? Hold on. Oh man. Oh uh, yeah. You said the wrong thing. What do you I... mean? <laughs> We're experts on uh ghosts. Yeah. Isn't isn't that right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So let us poke around, and we'll we'll let you know if you've got the uh. Ghost. Ghost on your hands. Really? You do that for me? Yes. Oh, I just noticed the, the mouse is being weird. You can see my cursor on the screen, right? The, the black one? Yeah. It's like it's not lining up with where the window is. I have it off to the right, and then on OBS it goes completely off. Oh, well. Huh. Wow, wow thanks! There's one thing, though. What is it? Don't look. At all. No matter what. Okay, that makes sense. They are shy, after all. And you are the experts. Just let us inside, and we'll let you know. Yeah, go ahead inside. <laughs> you both walk inside and shut the blinds on King Booty. While Luigi turns a light on. <laughs> So, uh, what's the plan? Steal things, wait it, wait it out. We wait it out. We're not gonna steal things? No, I mean, we, Waluigi doesn't seem like he likes us being cruel. I, I just noticed they got this from like a, a, a Google Images walkthrough. There's like oh, letters yeah, marking the letters. things. Adds to the charm, honestly. I got a plan. Don't do anything yet. We, we wait? We wait. No, we wait. If you'll say so. 
wait around in the house for a few minutes before heading out. King Booty perks up when you exit. Well, did you find anything? Yep, you've definitely got something in there. <laughs> I knew it! Thing is, there's no way to get it to come out like this. Huh? Yeah, like you said, they're too shy. <laughs> oh no! But... I got some bait for you right here. Pull out right pocket, left pocket, Waluigi's pocket. Oh, left pocket. My left jacket pocket. You reach into your left pocket and pull out a perfume bottle you refilled with soy sauce. Why? <laughs> but why? <laughs> I like to spritz it on the food. It, it, it's an even spread. I get more calories that way. This! Will that really work? Gimme! Nuh-uh. It's gonna cost ya. How much? 300 coins! Wow! Only 300? That's like 0 0.00033 rupees! <laughs> if it'll help me meet King Boo, deal! He takes the bait. This is Ed Ed Nettie. Pleas pleasure doing business with you, King Booty. Wario, Tingle, and Eddie just meet together. It's like a scam artist's guild. Uh, which one would try to would try to uh, betray the other? Well, Eddie has a very poor track record, is the thing. Yeah, Tingle even... usually is successful as a business person. And Wario is successful as a treasure hunter. And yeah, I guess selling really WarioWare games. He's not really a, a scammer. He's a treasure hunter. He doesn't. He he. He's a trend Wario's follower. A, Wario, uh, yeah, anything that gets him the most amount of money. He's not really, cause cause I think with him he wouldn't create a scam because that would just piss people off and that ruins any economic opportunities in the future. So rather than than doing that, he's just going to sell product. Yeah. And and hunt for treasure. And he's gonna hoard it. Pleasure doing business with you, King Booty. No, thank you! I can't wait to try it! Poor Waluigi's dead-eyed stare. Just remember, it might take a little while. Okay! Okay! King Booty rushes inside. <laughs> you, uh, gonna share any of that money? Give him half. No, give him all of it! <laughs> Do it. You give him all 300 coins. This is like a, a, a specter. We, we are a, a ghost taking control of Wario, and internally yes. he's screaming as we make him give away all 300 coins. No, you know what this is? We're, we are we're the fucking Cupid in his heart. <laughs> he seems totally astounded that you would ever do that. All right, let's move on to the next one. Pink or red toad? Uh, pink toad. Yes, see. <laughs> this one seems gullible. What makes you say that? They're all gullible. The <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, Guy Fieri eat. Toad. Oh, <laughs> I just saw the sign that said eat, eat my, my meat. meat. Then you skeet. The two of you walk up to the Pink Toad, who's standing in front of a grill on top of a cute little stool. I like the characterization of the toads here. It's, yeah. It's really good. I, I like it. Man, remember when Paper Mario had, like, characteri characterization in NPCs? When they were allowed yeah. to be characters. Please do not put any hats on any toads. We cannot allow hats on toads. And then you just are like, fucking hell. Hey, you! What? Hey. What's your name? T-Bone. 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 <laughs> hey, he's a, he's a hacker in Watch Dogs. T-Bone? Yeah, yeah T-Bone. What? What? Oh, uh... Hey. Having any trouble? Does it look like I'm having trouble? You both look him up and down. Well, no. Because I'm not. not. What do you want? <sighs> Just, uh, wondering what you're doing? Making some darn steaks. My name's T-Bone, and I'm grilling some steaks. I'm standing on this adorable little stool and grilling some steaks on this barbecue that's too tall for me, and my name's T-Bone. Are we done here? Yeah. Confer with Waluigi. 
pull Waluigi aside to discuss your game plan. How are, how are we gonna crack this guy? Hmm. Man, the Luigi one was short. This one is actually involved. Well, I got nothing. I got nothing. Me need it. Wait. I got it! Just follow my lead, okay? Okay. Okay. Hey, you mind if we stick around and try your steak out? <laughs> of course. Meat men such as myself live only to share our meat with anyone seeking a fine slab of beef. <laughs> Here, this one's done already. T-Bone flips open the grill and tosses a steak towards Waluigi with no plate. Just gonna yeah, smack gonna... him in the face. <laughs> He's just gonna grab it. Enjoy the steak, <laughs> asshole! Actually, actually, his, his uh, signature thing is steak food. The, the sauces are too good. He's gonna die of, of a heart attack. <laughs> Wario is gonna spritz some soy sauce on it mid-flight. <laughs> Eat it mid-air. You leap and grab the steak out <gasps> oh! of the air. Oh! <laughs> Luigi so can get his hands on it. <laughs> wow! I should've... Most uncool pork scrap. Can we reload? Can we load? <laughs> I don't do business with meat hogs. Tall guy can come see me again if he ditches the dead weight. I damn it! Just peace. Can you load it? Can you load I it? I know. I want to see the end of the, the how this finishes. Okay. T Bone hops up on top of the barbecue, pulls a lever, and revs it up. He drives it off to another part of Toad Town. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I, I, was I was hungry. hungry. Waluigi size. Let's just move on. All right, now what can we load? Where is load? There's quick load. There's save. There's skip. Uh. Oh, it's right click to load, I guess. Yeah. Was that save? You hit save. You saved over it. Oh, no, you didn't. Okay, good. Alright. Confer with Waluigi. And then... Follow his lead. Let the meat fly. That seems like it's just gonna waste meat from the what we get here. Yeah, I, I assume we're like, deciding what, it... what Waluigi was gonna do. Yeah, that's our, that was our mistake. You don't intercept the meat's trajectory in the slightest. Waluigi takes a bite. T-Bone looks pretty confident. This isn't very good. Huh? Yeah, I don't know, not feeling it. You're full of it, man. That hunk of beef is grilled to perfection. No way. Here, you try. He offers you the hunk and you don't hesitate to chomp the whole thing at once. It's putrid. It's, it's putrid. See? I don't know. I might have to call somebody about this. This meat is seriously subpar. No, oh, don't! Why shouldn't I? Oh, I'll pay you. Pay? Here, take this 400 coins. It's all I have. Please just don't sully my rep. I guess that's fair. Yeah, that's fine. Everyone makes mistakes. You just press gang to toad into giving <laughs> us all his cat. Fucking thank ass. you, thank you. I promise this won't happen again. <laughs> T-Bone nervously hops on top of his barbecue, pulls a lever, and drives it into a nearby house. You hear a loud bang and some sobbing. Wow, impressive. I told you I got that. Oh yeah, let's keep going. Red Toad. Let's bug that one. Mm. All right. You walk together towards a Red Toad girl sitting at a tiny table. There's plates and teacups set up. Everything is really frilly. On either side of her, a little toad doll sitting in tall, small chairs at the table. We're gonna, We're gonna, gonna scam a little girl. She looks up at both of you in the middle of sipping what is probably tea. May I help what you? The fuck? <laughs> Can socialite doing that shit? That's hilarious. Got room for two more? She looks you both up and down very critically. You may sit. You both sit down in the two remaining chairs. 
Waluigi's legs pop up over the table, and your chair creaks beneath you. Your names? Yeah. Wario! Hey. Waluigi! Charmed! I am tea time! Of course. Please help yourselves to some tea. Tea time! Is, is that official? Is that a Waluigi line? I guess so. Don't do that. My name is not to be spoken unless you intend to address me. Eh, sorry. You both pour your tiny cups with a little bit of tea and take a sip. Resist the urge to fight. <laughs> <laughs> so, eh. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That was the only <laughs> prompt. That was the extent of it. Who are your friends? I'm delighted you asked. She reaches over and picks up the toad doll on your left. This is Ruti. Then she grabs the one on your right and holds it up next to the other. And this is Tooty. Say hello. She has them both wave at you. Uh, hey. Hi. Hi. She puts down Ruti and holds Tooty up closer to you. Nice to meet you! She puts Tutti down and then does the same with Ruti. Thank you both for joining us! Why is this so wholesome? Uh, yeah, no problem. Could you please- Ruti, Tutti, could you please stop slouching in front of the guests? I'm doing no such thing. Why don't you make sure to drink your tea a little more quietly? It's highly rude. The nerve! I apologize profusely for my sister's errant behavior. Let's not argue. I'm not. R2, be quiet. How are we gonna... Uh, I have an idea. Okay. You reach into one of your back pockets and start rustling. <laughs> hey, ladies, please, stop fussing. I want you both to meet my friend. Wait, Wario, what are you doing? Wario, no! You pull out a toad doll of your own. Oh. Oh, okay then. That's that's fine. Seems they're coming. It seems they're coming apart, and it's probably been used as a napkin on more than one occasion. Ho -ho! Meaty. Where would you get that? Uh, nowhere. Oh, pleased to make your acquaintance, Meaty. Yes, charmed. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> The Maluid Wario. No, don't. What? I know you want... Don't do that in front of guests. It's highly rude, Wario. <laughs> Tell me about yourselves. Ah, uh, well, I'm quite the diva among my class, as you might be able to tell. Yes, the both of us, truly. We may argue, but we'd never doubt another's elegance on stage. Isn't that right, sister? It's just the sprite is just the, the toad looking left and right. If you flip it quickly, it's like she's fucking, like, like, uh, shaking her head. Just, nope, nope, nope. This tea is great! This tea is bad! No, it's, it's great. <laughs> You gotta be nice, Wario. You're quite the charmer, me, tea. I should say so. And such lovely china <laughs> not gonna play off. <laughs> Stop! It's no. just such extremes. Like, at any point, you can do something completely to ruin the occasion. <laughs> Was it worth <laughs> Warrior, no, you gotta be nicer. Such lovely china! Thank you! You have fine taste, me T. So I have a proposal for you two. I'm sorry, Mr. Me T, but I'd prefer you not haggle with. No tea time, it's alright. Yes, let the man speak. Very well! What's your offer, me T? Uh, a special exfoliating recipe. Who tell? You reach in your pocket and pull out some barbecue sauce? Yeah, I heard that a babam mom found out about the secret of this stuff. You won't believe that what you f <laughs> I, don't know, I was trying to do a clickbait thing. I know. Put a little on your cheeks and chin every night before you go to sleep. It'll work its magic on its own. Is this That's incredible! <laughs> so I don't actually... think it's a little girl. I think it's a grown woman playing pretend. That Which I guess be... toads are childlike, right? Yeah, sure. Toads are dumb, I guess. 
Uh, it's very rare. Yeah, you can't get it many places. But I'd be willing to sell it to you for 500 coins. That's <laughs> deal. Excuse me? Please, it's so rare. Oh, fine. You two will run me dry. Here you are. Tea time hands the money to you. Well, to me, T. Pleasure doing business with you. Yes, yes, you you as well, and your two friends. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I must have a chat with my two sisters here. You both get up and leave her to scold her siblings. Not bad. <laughs> Who next? That's all of them. Looks like the older one's worth going after. He has money sense. You can sense when somebody is full of money. How can you tell? You slap your belly. Yeah. I can feel it. So, so I know you. I know you mentioned uh, never. Like you're never gonna stream Yakuza with me. So I'll just say that in the game, a guy tells the main character early on that he can literally invest money in himself. And it's just like, it, is that what War? If Wario learned that ability, would he still keep <clears throat> the the coins, or would he use the coins to increase his power? What, like he eats them and then they turn into more coins or something? No, uh, no, in, in, uh, in Yakuza, you can use, you literally have to buy skills and, like, power-ups and stuff with the end. Yeah. And, and it, it, it's, uh, framed in-game as, like, you know, you can literally invest money in yourself. I mean, you can do that in real life, too. No, like no, 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 hiring tutors. No, 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 you can literally just take the money and absorb it, I guess. That's how I got it, is just, no, invest in yourself. What you mean, like, spit, literally spend money on myself. That's right. Never thought of it that way before. So, we're done? Yeah. You're, uh... You're gonna go you home alone? Home and... You wanna head you wanna home head and home. count it all with me? Huh? Yeah! Oh all right, I think Let's I think call it, it a day. <laughs> Excellent! You both hop on your bike and make for your place. You both step inside your home. You're reminded that Waluigi is really one of the only people who can visit without visibly gagging at either the sight or the smell. What are you saying? <laughs> is, this, is this where he just lives? He just lives in the green void? That always meant a lot to you. He takes a seat on your couch. What a day, eh? Yeah, no kidding. You know, uh, you know, Wario. Something felt different today. I felt it too. Yeah. I felt it too. I'm glad. So then, you know what I mean. You've always stepped on me whenever we work together. It never really felt like we were an actual team, but today, it seemed like you turned that around. You know? I'm glad you know. Oh, whoops. I'll get back to doing that. <laughs> No, oh, we gotta... I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> so you were trying. Yes. It means a lot to me. You said some things earlier and... Well, if things today had continued as normal, I'd have probably left. I'm glad you didn't. You then. can still leave. I'm glad you didn't then. Me too. I... He pulls, a, puts a hand on your knee. He looks you Do square it. in the eyes. <laughs> yeah, go for it, Waluigi. You know what? <laughs> you put your hand on his thigh. He smiles softly at you. You're the most important person in my life, Wario. I don't have anyone without you. I know you have a lot of other friends, but... You have I haven't left have you a... yet, have I? You always have a... <laughs> it's like that would... <laughs> There's not really but, any super wrong choices anymore, but some okay. maybe better than others. Yeah, that's true. You'll always have a place in my heart. He smiles a little wider. Do you mean that? Yes. I mean, before I met you, before that first tennis tournament over a decade ago, I didn't know what I was doing. I tried to be evil, but it didn't really work out. I was too awkward. Yeah, then you introduced cool. me to Luigi, and, well, the rest is history, I suppose. But the point is, 
I wouldn't be who I am today without you. So, thank you. It's been my pleasure. I wouldn't be who I am either. That's nonsense! You were plenty evil before I showed up! That's not what I mean. I mean, I'm thankful to have you. That, uh, that means a lot. Thank you. Well, uh, I guess we should start count. You place a finger over his lips. He quiets down. Kiss him. Kiss him fiercely! Jump on his back and literally ride him like a cowboy. <laughs> Throw him out. <laughs> After all of this, up till now, you just throw him out of the house. <laughs> just, just kiss him. <laughs> I like that. That was his. That's his. Like, that's all he's thinking. And and that because he really didn't. He's like, I don't know if I want this or not. I'm just gonna throw him out. You lean in for a smooch. Halfway there, you hover for a second, hoping he might bridge the rest of the gap, and your expectations are met. Just as you think you might want to take it, talk it, bet, take it back. He pushes forward, and your lips meet. His no- his no- your nose slides to the side of his long, sharp one. You can feel the tips of your mustaches mingling with one another, groping at each other. They tug and pull at each other on their own, neither of you able to stop it. You can feel Waluigi's face heat up, <laughs> as yours does as well. Your lips untwine, but you stay close and open your eyes. <laughs> Waluigi squirms, and you separate. That's... Shh. He smiles. Thank you. Sure. It's getting late. Oh, yeah. I should probably head home for the night. Yeah. I'll uh, call you tomorrow, okay? I'd like that. He stands up and leans over to kiss your sweaty forehead. Good night, Wario. He leaves. You sit in thought for a moment, still blushing. You lay down on the couch, rubbing your belly, staring at the ceiling. How long have you known Waluigi? How long have you felt this way? How would things be different if you'd only treated him fairly sooner? Those questions and more swarm your mind for hours before you're able to sleep. But in the end, you realize that none of that matters anymore. What's important is where you are now. Where you're going. And it looks like you're going straight towards a happy ending. The end. Okay, so <laughs> I like to think that this happened after the Luigi storyline. Luigi's Wario's like, what's going on? I'm having sex with all, all my friends, all these people. It's like my life has turned into some perverted fan fiction. <laughs> okay. Bowser, you gotta help me. Maybe he'll help me out. He owes me after that tennis incident anyway. It seems like it's going to be the hardest uh, Bowser's route. Castle, how may I direct your call? Who is this? Get Bowser on the line. I'd like to speak with Bowser. <laughs> oh, hang up. <laughs> I got <laughs> nervous. Okay, just hang up. <laughs> this is always what happens. You return home. Forget that! Let's move on to something else. That's not going to be an option. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right, let me reload it. <laughs> uh, let's see, I want to see what the power radar is. Yeah. If power's what I need, then that power scope thingy that Krygor Coot made for me will do the trick. You put down the phone and make your way over to the machine. Surely the most powerful being in the kingdom would have the most money. All I got to do is scan for it using this thing. You look at the buttons absent-mindedly. There sure are a lot of them. Lucky for you, there's also a big red button with the words Find Power written on them in bold. Are we gonna date yeah. Vegeta? <laughs> Unlimited power. Bingo! You press the button and a map of the kingdom shows up on the display. Right away you can see where the biggest source of pure power concentrate is. Oh, hello, Wario. I thought we didn't have a section together. <laughs> it's near the border. Yeah! I got you! <laughs> oh, is he actually gonna run into Ganon? Boldly, you hop on your motorcycle and head straight for the source of the power. They're using the word power a lot, and he has the Triforce of power. Yeah, it's, he is going... I can't wait to see him as <laughs> Ganon. You begin to notice your mustache twirling. Maybe it's not like Ganondorf, maybe it's like a cartoon Ganon. 
What do you mean CGI Ganon? Something in the air feels heavy. I will dense. I will worry Wario, I will make your face the greatest in Koridai. Or you will die. Perhaps driving straight into the massive power wasn't the best idea. Should you turn around? No. Uh, are you sure? Yes. What? What do you mean you're sure? Don't you know what you're getting yourself into? Yes. Yeah. So you know what lies ahead is literally just a pure ball of power. Like, not even any specific kind of power, just power. Yes. Yes. And you're still going to drive into it. Yes. Yes. You're insane! Yes. Okay, seriously, <laughs> I'm going to be straight with you. There's probably no returning from this. All the money you've made so far, all the love you've stolen, gone! Are you prepared for that? Yes. Actually, no. <laughs> seriously? Yes. At least Please? save. You can't make me... <laughs> I just got back from what comes after this, and I'm ready to go back home now. That for after you save, you get that option. You, hey, you can't right make here. me. What? Try right-clicking here. Maybe right-clicking works. Yes, you can save here. Oh, you can save with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I saved. <laughs> Thanks. You keep driving on. Oh my, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Was I right? <laughs> You've arrived at the source of the power. You get a drink before this. Hold on. I... <laughs> I'll just take this and... <laughs> We're on fucking Namek. Which Dragon Ball see. character are we going to get? Are we going to get... You feel Goku? heavy. <laughs> are we gonna get Frieza? It's difficult to take even a single step, but eventually you manage to make it a few meters from your bike when... Ah! It explodes under the pressure. There goes your getaway vehicle. What did I tell you? Something's coming closer. Ah? Who's there? What? Show yourself and give me all your money. <laughs> Dark Wario. Who do you think you are, Buster? What's going? Oh, I skipped like that, like deep dialogue. Yeah. My name. Wa Wario. This is Wario again. <laughs> it's been a long time. Wakarot. It can't be, but it is. Now Wario, he, well, he said Wackerot, so it's uh, whatever. Give oh. me your money. No, no. no! <laughs> oh, that was lame. I thought it was gonna be Freezer. That was really funny. It's just the Vegeta equivalent to Wario. Your power was not enough. Perhaps with a little more money you would have been able to overtake him. R really? Is that a hint? Okay. That's interesting that that's a thing in this game. So we're not going to, but hypothetically, could we, like, grind all the other routes for money and then fight Wa Wario and win? Yeah, what, what, what would that be? What ending would that be like? That's crazy. Well, this is Valentine's Day, so obviously we're going for the, the, the romance endings. Yes, uh... Never mind this. What I really need is some serious reflection time. Who better to spend it with than me? Is this the Wario dates himself ending? You wheel in a giant mirror and put it in front of your TV, just across from the couch. You have a seat, legs hicked up on the cushions, and stare for a while. The handsome man in the mirror stares back happily. For an hour, it seems, the two of you exchange words with your eyes. But eventually, you catch wind of something. A certain shimmer in his gaze. Oh. Something you're all too familiar with. Hunger. For money. He wants your money! 
He's just waiting for the right chance to strike. But wait, just as this thought crosses your mind, you sense wariness. He's scared you want his money, too. He's it's just the, draw, the dog dropping the stake in the water, the Aesop's fable. <laughs> but what's this? He seems to have realized the same thing as you. You stare for another few minutes. Do you want my money? You both ask simultaneously. You both nod. Another minute of silence. Well, perhaps if you were to give me some money, I might give you some in exchange. How does that sound? You both nod and smile. You throw a coin in his direction, and he throws one back. <laughs> this is fun. You do it again. This is just the Wario slowly goes crazy route. Yeah. What's what's up with the with your uh, brother? He's not my brother. Okay. Well, what's up with them? Well, he's just been throwing coins at a mirror all day and laughing. That sounds like Wario. You just can't get enough of this, and neither can he. You could do this all day, and you just might, honestly. Really, you might want to stop this now. This endless feedback loop of greed isn't actually making you any money. You know that, right? You know that you're just giving money to yourself, and that getting money back is just returning exactly the investment you're putting in. I'm investing in myself. Right? 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 So you'll, you'll stop. stop. Right? No! I <laughs> do You keep throwing money at the attractive man. He keeps throwing money at you. It's incredible! You've never felt so strongly for anyone in your life! You just keep getting and getting and getting! It's amazing! Before you know it, you're out of money bags, and all that remains are the coins and bills laying on the floor in front of the pane of glass. You roll off the couch and swim through the pile to reach, and he does the same. You put your hand up to his. Your lip starts to quiver, and before you can question it, it's pressed against his. <laughs> A swirling, <laughs> steaming blend of garlic and moisture passes by your nostrils. Beneath the money pile, you can feel your heart racing. This is true love. So he, yeah, he's a narcissist. You could Loves spend your himself. entire life in this money pile, eating raw onions beside your one true love. And honestly, you can't imagine a happier ever after. It's the Wario ending. The Wario ending, where he falls in love with himself. That's crazy. Alright. So Bowser... So, uh, he's a he actually is cursed then, right? He just... Who, Bowser? Just, no, Wario. He's just cursed to, like, fall in love with with anything. He's like, I got a problem. Alright, I'd like to speak with Bowser. <laughs> I'd like to speak with Bowser! Do you have an appointment with his surliness? Um. <laughs> it's like it's like that one fucking game where every option other option is genuflect and that just ends the game in the same way. Yeah. <laughs> uh of course. Yeah. Of course. May I have your name? <clears throat> Sir? Uh no, I don't. <clears throat> I can certainly schedule one, but I'll need your name, sir. Uh, I sunny. need to speak with him now. It's, it's Princess Peach. I don't know which one is the best option. Uh, Princess Peach. Oh, Princess, I'm so sorry I didn't recognize you. Uh, no problem. I'm sure his lustfulness will be thrilled to hear you called. When can I set up your appointment? Uh, actually, it'd be better to see him now. Uh... Oh, absolutely. If it's you, Princess Peach, his needliness w Sorry, his neediness would certainly want to see you as soon as possible. So, uh, where is he? He's just outside your castle, actually. You'll find him in the bushes somewhere. Excellent! You hang up the phone. Now that you know where Bowser is, all you have to do is come up with a plan. Ah, whatever. You'll think of something when you get there. Outside this Peach's castle. No, all yeah, I have to do Mario is 64. find him. There's what? That's Mario 64 castle, alright. 
You squint your eyes and look around. The aggressive woman on the phone said that he should be hiding in a bush somewhere. Aha! There he is! You spot Bowser standing behind a bush. Well, he's in front of the bush from where you're standing. You can't really tell what he's doing. Just standing there. He's like King Booty. Hey you! Bowser! Bowser turns around to face you. His girth is supreme! No matter how many times you see him. It's a good line. It's hey good Bowser, line. ride my hog! You can't help but feel a little inferior whenever, whenever he steps over you like this. Oh, Sorry, this stands over route? you. This is the bar route of this uh, Yowie hentai. <laughs> I'm busy! What do you want, Wario? Alright, let's see. How to, how to seduce Bowser. So, we, uh, you should save here. Leave. Save. <laughs> He's just gonna be probably, oh, I'm wasting my time. I'm gonna go home. So which one? Uh... What are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Oh, just watching for the princess. Do you need something or something? Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, you, sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Saying oh. that all of a sudden. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Projectile vomit Bowser. <laughs> no, I mean, there's uh, something I wanted to ask you. What? What, what a piece of this? We should work together. <laughs> we should work together. Why? Why? What's in it for me? I'll split the loot with you. You'll have, You'll have me. I'm just gonna. You'll have the princess. <laughs> what? How can you get me the princess? Yeah. Come on, let's head back to your castle. We can talk kidnapping there. Wahoo. Don't want anyone snooping, right? <laughs> Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Excellent! Let's go! You've successfully convinced Bowser to bring you home with him. Oh. Many opportunities should await you there, both to make money and steal his heart. However, it seems as though your relationship so far is based around his obsession with Princess Peach. If you truly want to make him yours, you'll have to do something about that eventually. Oh, is this going to be the longer version? But on the bright side, he seems impressed with you. <clears throat> Keep okay, pleasing him cool. like this, and you'll be able to get to what you want in no time. Keep at it. What a helpful narrator. This narrator... Oh my gosh. That's You've arrived. RPG. It's just all the other games. Bowser and leads we... you to his, into his conference room, sitting behind his very tidy-looking desk. You never pegged Bowser as such a neat freak. Can I get you anything? Coffee? B bags uh, of money! <laughs> got any raw onion? Coffee's good. Yeah. Coffee's fine. <laughs> Our coffee is imported from the finest in Sarasa land. You have good taste, Wario. Please bring your, our guests some coffee, Clarence. Clarence. Right away, your thirstiness. <laughs> Let's get right down to it, Wario. I've been at this princess nabbing game longer than you've been alive. I'm gonna need something that's really gonna blow me out of the water if you want in on this operation. What you got for me? First, money. Fire rods. Micro games. So long, sucker! <laughs> yeah, that's just here for the copy. You should save. Yeah. So long, sucker! You vanish in a puff of smoke like a fucking ninja. Bowser looks on stunned and eventually decides that you are a figment of his imagination all along. Alright. Uh, that was funny. <laughs> Alright, uh, money, fire rods, or micro games? First, micro games. <laughs> Oh, okay. Second, Dead. money, endless pits, or motorcycles. Second, Car card motorcycle. games on motorcycles? <laughs> card games on motorcycles. <laughs> Alright. 
Finally. Finally. Money, minions, or garlic? Minions. Yeah. Finally, onion, I mean minions. <clears throat> Still with you? So, what you think? I have to level with you, Wario. None of it really stands out to me as anything I couldn't do on my own or haven't already tried. And I've worked Wait. with you in the past. It hasn't worked out before. Why would it now? But, wait, he's done card games with motorcycles before? <laughs> I've done this plot. It's the unreleased game, Mario uh, GX. It never Mario released Super because games. he had to work with Konami. Yeah. Uh-oh. I really got to sell myself here. I'll get rid of Mario. You're hired! Bowser claps you on both shoulders happily, speaking very highly of the privilege that it is to work with you. Micro games on motorcycles. This that... portrays Bowser as nicer than Wario. Yeah. He rushes you out of the castle to do your work. You aren't allowed to come back until you've taken care of it. <clears throat> but it seems like this is your ticket to Bowser's inner circle. What will you do? Go kill Mario, fake Mario's death, or just go home. Let's go kill Mario. Dude. Well, it's a good thing that we... Let's uh, do it. We, we, you can do this and then the Mario route is unavailable. Yeah, do it. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's go find the little eyesore. Might even be able to make some money along the way. <laughs> Imagine a dating sim where to appease one of the girls you have to kill one of your other love interests. You know what? That'd be like a spy visual novel. A visual novel on spies, and like one of them's the double agent that you had to kill. You hop on your hog and make way for 1-1. One, one. Is that actually like the name of a province in the Mushroom Kingdom? Are they just numbered? Route 1-1. One, one. Yeah, There's that one, little one. twerp! It's not like in, in a Pokemon verse where it's Route 56 or something. It's Route 1-1, one, Route 1-2, 3-3. You pull up your bike behind a bush, kick out the kickstand, and waddle towards him. You might not want to kill him right away. Perhaps you can get some money out of him first. If I just no, kill just, him and, and loot. Just kill him. Or, you know, maybe ditch Bowser and get with this stud. Eh, well, whatever. Hey, kill Mario, Mario, my cousin! Hey, Mario, he turns around. He turns Fart around. loudly, kill Mario, or turn around. Kill, kill Mario. Kill Jester. Oh, you sneak up behind Mario and push him off a cliff. He dies. Congratulations! Well, that was less bloody and intense than I was thinking about. Uh, well, you don't really want to drag this thing around with you, so you snap a couple photos to hand over to the old coop. You return to Bowser's conference room. Oh, hey. Bowser! I have something for you! He opens the door to let you in. <laughs> Did you do it? Did you do it? You betcha! Show me, show me! You pull out the photos you took. Is this the Mario RPG Bowser Castle music? Um, I don't, I don't recognize it, actually. I can't believe you actually did it! This is awesome! Alright, Wario, you're in! Alright! To celebrate, allow me to invite you to dinner tonight. We can discuss our next move over some of the finest cuisine you've ever tasted, imported directly from Rapland. This is just Gold Digger Wario <laughs> at this point. And wasn't that the premise of the game? Yeah. You did now it. You've earned Bowser's trust. Now you're officially partners. You didn't say it right. It's now we're officially partners. On top of that, Bowser's invited you to dinner. This is the perfect chance to butter him up some more. Yeah. So You're so close to his money that you can taste it. <clears throat> Later that night, you enter the dining hall to find that a table's been set up for you and Bowser. Bowser's sitting at the other end of the surprisingly small table. Much too small for this huge hall. Did he bring in a smaller one just for the two of you? I would like to get intimate. Oh well, all the better to be intimate with anyway. Yes, I see. You walks, you walks towards your seat as Bowser smiles and welcomes you. <laughs> Time to put on the moves. <laughs> so good to see my guest of honor. Click your teeth and wink at it. Do it. <laughs> Wait, no, we're save first. Where's the food? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm very happy too, Wario. 
steal a vase when he isn't looking. Turn around, baby. <laughs> he liked it. You know, Wario, I didn't actually expect you to pull that off. I guess all you really needed was somebody to give you a chance. And for, you know, the end goal not to be the victory of some sports competition. Piece of cake. I'm hungry. <laughs> Swipe a golden fork. This, you just go through this entire thing just laughing. I like that. Just piece of cake, I guess. Piece of cake. <laughs> you really outdid- I'm so disappointed that one of them wasn't actually a Dragon Ball character. I would have loved yeah. that. That would have been great. Thank Alan, you so the... much. <laughs> With him out of the way, it'll be a cinch to get the princess all for myself. Gwahaha! <laughs> Still about the princess, hmm? What's the deal with her anyway? Storm out. I can't believe you're talking about her and not me. So long, sucker. You react angrily to the mention of the princess and storm out of the castle. Bowser begins to question the ways of obsessing with Princess Peach affects his relationships. Okay. Just <laughs> say. That actually would work in the long term, but we're it, it's still rich. It, we're greedy. What's the deal with her anyway? What? What do you mean? Why do you want to kidnap her so bad? What's the appeal? Oh, well, uh, Bowser looks embarrassed. Do you love her? Do you want her money? Do you want her... <laughs> Just leave after asking the question. <laughs> Is there a different dialogue for every place you could just stand up and walk out? Yeah, just, you leave. Who knows, Who knows what Bowser did in response? Yeah, oh, that's so kind of lame. Kind of, yeah, you know, just Ted. Do you love her? You want her money? You want her power? Do you want her? Do you want her power? That's. I don't know. The waiter brings in the appetizer. Bowser looks down, absent-mindedly poking his food with his fork. Eat it all in one bite. Nibble Push a little. You. Steal his plate. plate. <laughs> he reaches over and pushes food onto your plate. He didn't like seem like he was going to be eating it anyway. You should, you should really talk about it. <laughs> Just pretend it didn't happen. You should really talk about this. Yeah, it's just... It's complicated. <laughs> It's, so, it's like a wrong? weird gameplay balance where you actually can go for just as much stealing as you can get away with to the end of defeating Wa Wario, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so what's what? wrong? Everybody loves the princess. I guess I just <laughs> thought that maybe I could get everybody to love me, too, if she liked me. Laugh in his face. Lots of people Lots of love you. <laughs> Silently walk away. <laughs> Lots of people love you. Alright. <laughs> yeah, alright. Like who? I love you. You love you. Your minions you? love you. Oh. You love... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually plan this far. <laughs> Ultimately, come up short. You give him a weak shrug. Dab your mouth with your napkin, take a swig of water, and politely leave. <laughs> you didn't a... stay for the crab puffs. The crab <laughs> crab rangoon. The crab rangoon. Now I'm just picturing Far Cry 4 the floor while Luigi's the protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, your minions, you love you or I love you. You love you. Alright. <laughs> Oh. I don't know about that. Bowser sighs. Oh. I'm sorry, okay, this isn't much reload. of a strategy meeting. <clears throat> I'm not very hungry. Shall we finish this in my chambers? Oh, let's see where this is going. Bowser's room. This may be your only chance to be in there. You have to decide how to use this opportunity wisely. <clears throat> Bowser's bedroom. Ba -ba -ba. Please, have a seat on my bed. It's the ba it's the Mario Galaxy fight music. Yes, this is the final battle to win Bowser's heart. Do it and fart <laughs> and fart in his Just bed. Just do it. Just do it. You do it. 
Bowser seems pleased. He sits in an armchair across from him. So anyway, about Princess Peach. Are you still going through with it? I'd, um, I'd be a better princess than her. Uh, yeah, are you still going through with it? Yeah. it? Well, yeah. Maybe you should take a break from her. Give up! Maybe you should take a break from her. A break, huh? No. I don't know, Wario. This is all I have, you know? <sighs> what if I, what am I if not a princess kidnapping monster? What else is there for me? Me. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this game is perfect. I don't know. Really? <laughs> I, it's a weird game, but I, I figured you'd like it. It's a weird game, but it's but it's perfect for what it's trying to go for. <laughs> that means a lot, Wario. Thank you. <laughs> but I mean, does anyone even like me? <laughs> I spent all my life, ma life making them fear me, respect me. It's too late to go back on that choice. I, my kingdom, my minions, my power, that's all I have right now. I've spent 28 years with this hole in my heart, and this is the only way I know how to fill it. I could fill that hole. <laughs> loser! I could fill that hole. I <laughs> know you're gonna do loser, do No, don't. Just loser. Like, oh. <laughs> I think I'm fine on my own. You get rid of Mario, so here, have some money. I can do the. I guess this is the month, the successful month. No, no, wait. What? What I mean is, why do you need the princess? There's plenty of fish in the sea. Big, stinky, rich fish. What I'm saying is, loser. I I'm usurping power. <laughs> Give me your crown! You got thrown out. <laughs> that didn't go so well. Yeah. I I like how you could recover from calling him a loser to his face. <laughs> yes, because that's the point. It's like I could. I could fill that hole. What do you mean? <laughs> that face that you put. What I mean so is, why do you need the princess? There's plenty of fish in the sea. I can be serpent. <laughs> I can be your princess. You? My princess? Yeah. And then he puts on the yeah. super crown. Shit, that, that was it. You'd oh, no. really do that? Oh, yeah. You want to be with me? Yes. Hold on, I gotta look this up now. I'm, yes, there's a, there's a Wario crown. I figured I just didn't look it up. We can rule together, Bowser. We can make yours the greatest kingdom to have ever existed. And then Trump and Putin started making out fiercely. <laughs> Is that a... I think that's a fanfic? Trump yes. Fan, Putin fanfic? Maybe Wario, I... Yes. I would like that. Me too. There's a moment of silence. Bowser gazes into your eyes. You gaze back. His eyes shut. He, punt he puckers his lips out, and he slowly moves in towards you. Bite his nose and steal his wallet. Heartbreaker! It's like that episode of South Park where the co cop goes way, way undercover as a prostitute. Yeah, okay. Now, let's do this. You open your jaw and chomp down on his snout. He recoils in pain, allowing you to reach down and grab his wallet. You make a run for it, but Bowser isn't stopping. Oh, we broke his heart, too. He lays on the ground, hand on his face, tears swelling up in his eyes. <laughs> but, uh, Oreo. Just gonna stand there and watch me <laughs> Thank you, good night! <laughs> alone, he sobs alone in his room. I loved you! <laughs> Goodbye. He prance out of his room, golden toe. Down the halls you skip. 
coins rattling in your pockets as all the minions stare at you. They know whose heart you've broken. They won't ever forgive you for playing with their king's heart. Remember that as you find your way back to your home. Back to toy with the emotions of everyone you meet. You jerk. I kind of like that ending, but we should see the good one. Yeah, that, that's Wario ending. Fuck her up, bro. Was there an ending that awful for the other ones? Oh man, I, I can't believe we... <laughs> You shut your eyes. It, oh, poor, breaking Luigi's heart. Before the you fucking... know it, you can feel his snout. Uh, Waluigi! Oh, that would be a sad one for Waluigi! That would be brutal! I'm, so, I'm glad that none of these games are. None of these routes are as dark as uh, Doki Doki's. Feel his it snout. Easily could have been. Before you it's know so it, you can feel his snout on your mustache. Warm air blows out of his nostrils and through your sideburns. You put a hand on one of his horns, gently cupping it as one of his own touches your shoulder. His fangs poke against your cheeks like tiny hands pulling you in closer. Should we just call this an after dark? This isn't just after for the dark. hell of it. <laughs> yeah. It's over before yeah. you're ready for it to be. You both simultaneously realize that you're still sitting on his bed and he's leaning over you not right now and get a little fidgety. Uh, sorry. Hey. No problem. Hey. Hey. So, well, uh, you gonna go home? No. no. I don't I think so. You smile up at him. He blushes a little, looking slightly confused, or at the very least like he doesn't want his hopes shot down. His poor heart can't take it. Yeah. You scooch up on the bed. Come on. I think it's time for bed. We can figure out our kingdom tomorrow. Bowser hesitates for a moment before smiling back at you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds perfect. He slides into bed next to you and you wrap your arms around his neck as you both settle down on the pillow. It's a little cramped, but that's all the more reason for you to stay close. Does Bowser just sleep on his stomach? He'd have to have like a, a solid stone bed otherwise. It'd get torn to shreds. Maybe the bed maybe the sheets are like super strong. Or he takes the takes the shell off. Bowser yeah. reaches over to turn off the light, but looks at you one more time before he finally does. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Click. Wario win! Ha ha ha! He did, yes, he did. Yeah, get married. Alright, And finally, we gotta do the Mario route. That goody goody is always picking up coins like it's nothing. What's it matter to him if I skim a little off the top? Wario, I live in a shack! My brother has all the money. You have all the money. I've got nothing. You don't even have to call him to know where you can find that guy. You hop on your hog and make way for 1-1. One, one. So you can detour from the Bowser route to the Mario route. Yes. There's that little twerp. You pull your bike up behind a bush, kick out the kickstand, and waddle towards him. You know Mario can lay the beat down on you if you try anything too antagonistic, so it's probably best to play good for now, at least. I like how Mario's the one that he's most scared of. Yes. That... Hey, Mario! Is he gonna say anything? Even... Mario turns around just... and sees you after a particularly impressive triple jump. His sweat glistens in the sun as Hat, as Hat plucks his cap from his head to allow some air into his locks, smiling Probably back at he, you. He doesn't care. Be... <laughs> <laughs> it's just, <laughs> He's too perfect. <laughs> He's the ace. This, this... That's why he... he's the unattainable one. <laughs> Mario this runs game... up to you and gives you a questioning look. This game is perfect. It had to use the bar music. I want to join your adventure. I'm here for the money. I want to join your adventure. Ah. Hmm. Okie dokie. It's -a me, Mario. 
He agrees to let you come with him. You know there's a lot of coins on these quests, so maybe you can pick some up. Just be careful not to make him suspicious. He takes off ahead of you. Looks like he's eager to get started. Triple Bowser jump. hasn't even kidnapped the princess yet. He says Mario is acting preemptively. This is his walk nice. to the castle. This is Valentine's Day. I I'm sure he's going to try something. How agile is Wario? Do we attempt it? To attempt it. Yahoo! You triple jump and nab an entire line of coins. Good work, but Mario's gaining speed with no signs of stopping. It's, it's a visual novel platformer. Look for a secret shortcut. Turns out there's a hidden pipe here. You grease yourself up and hop in. Whoa. Look at all these coins down here. You collect all of them and pop out of a pipe. You can see Mario still running and jumping towards you. What will you do? Run ahead? Wait for him to catch up. You stand around for a little while to let him, ke let him catch up with you. He stops in front of you and jumps up and down a couple of times. I don't even have to voice Mario. Yeah. He seems to appreciate it. Mario steps a few paces ahead of you and jumps a couple imagine, times. Imagine this being the first one you go through. You'd think the whole game was like this. It seems like he wants you to stick together. Yeah. You agree to stay next to him. <clears throat> yes, do it. Two of you take off together. Jump on his head. <laughs> Try to sound enthusiastic. Try to sound enthusiastic. <laughs> You try to sound like you're enjoying yourself. Oh, oh let's -a go. Whatever. He seems to appreciate it. it okay. Yeah, you both thank continue you. along. You're getting. Wow, you're you're way more enthusiastic than my brother. Let's -a go. Wow. <laughs> getting close to the end of the level, there don't appear to be any more coins around. You're getting too impatient to follow him into one two. What will you do? Boost him up to the top of the flagpole. Use him to boost yourself up to the top of the flagpole. Do the top one. Boing. We're gonna. We're... You pop up beneath him and use your muscle to throw him up at the top of the flagpole. He gets a one up and seems appreciative of your support. Nice. You did it. You beat the level. Congratulations. But Mari is about to head down the pipe into one two. Now is your last chance. What are you gonna do? Ask him out. Swipe his wallet before he enters. <laughs> At save it and swipe his wallet. We know how that's gonna go. He's gonna get the money and then go home like, yeah, I got it! Reach over and pull his wallet just as he enters the pipe. <laughs> he had just below enough for another life, which means it's pretty loaded. Well, he's long gone. Guess it's time to head back home. Yeah, that, was, that wasn't as heartbreaking as the fucking... Like, yeah, alright, I guess we're, uh, we're loading it up. Oh, that was Wait, the what? return home button. I wanted to see if there was any different dialogue for the, the Wah Wario after getting a little bit of money. Uh. <clears throat> you try asking him out on a date. What do you mean? This was a date. Hmm. Oh, yeah. He accepted. <laughs> Everyone's so easygoing in this Mushroom Kingdom. Mario yeah. pulls a picnic basket out of his pocket. You don't really know where he kept that, but... Well, it's Mario. Let's go. Seems he's inviting you into the fortress. Well, it's time for your date with Mario. There probably aren't as many opportunities to make coins in there. And you'll have to go through the entire date before you can leave. Fuck it. This is also the perfect chance to make him fall for you. Will you go through with it? Yes. I'll well save at the start of Mario. This is just the same format for everyone. You build up to the, the date sequence. Yes. Which, in like Luigi's route, involves novel. scaring the shit out of Luigi. Yeah. Alright, looks like you're gonna go on this date with Mario in this tiny fortress at the end of 1-1. Cool. Let's go! He's so happy. He smiles and leads you inside. Let's get ready to move your fingers. You follow. Wow. What is this music from? I don't recognize it. So, uh, what you got? Hmm. He sets a blanket down and reaches into the basket. You sit down on the blanket across from him and watch as he pulls out plates of food. Some spaghetti. Sp sp Luigi, it's spaghetti! With no sauce! Spaghetti. Ravioli. Ravioli. Meatballs. Meatballs. Ah, mamma mia. Mushroom. 
And why? Just what was why? Mario preparing for? I knew you'd come. What's the matter, I'm... Wario? Could it be you're craving my McMashies? I got a big Ital I got a big Italian sausage for you, Wario. He hands you a plate of spaghetti. The mushrooms and meatballs can be added if you like, and well, come on, you're Wario. You put as much of them on as possible. <clears throat> Gulp it all down. Take small bites. Take small bites. You gotta be polite. Mario seems impressed. It shows commitment that you are slowing yourself down. Hey. So, uh, did you make this? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> okay, different sprite. Mario RPG, it's, Mario. It's good. <laughs> yeah. He's thankful. Yeah. Things get silent for a bit. How do you break the ice? Uh, nice weather, eh? Eat any good yeah. mushrooms lately? So, uh, how about that princess? Save. Uh... Talk to, let's talk about the princess. Let's see what... He frowns a little. I'm not here dating the princess. Things don't seem to be going well between him and the princess. Maybe this was the right one. Ask about it. Eat his food. Ask about it. You reach over and swallow his plate of food. Yes, the plate too. He looks offended. Why do you stick with her anyway? Okay, so it's just you, you lose some points, but continue on anyway. Yes. Yeah, that's no, it's I'm worth alone. It. Although, as funny, that would be funny. You just. <laughs> I love the idea of a character who, uh. who <clears throat> has, like, really bad manners and shit, but is actually very friendly and offers advice. Yeah. Just two contrasts. Just like. He's like, ah! Oh, there is. The way, one of the okay. one of the characters that I, I kind of like in Kim Possible is a bad guy called Motor Ed, who is just a, a sloppy 80s metal hair rocker stereotype, but he's also like a super genius engineer scientist. <laughs> he just <laughs> acts like Eddie Van Halen. It's funny. I, 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 you're selling me on Kim Possible. It's, right it's now. still kind of yeah, but it has some things that I can I can pull from it that are fun. Is it as good as a uh, Shaolin Showdown? No. Not, no, god damn. Alright, let's, uh... uh okay, ask him. Eat any good mushrooms? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That doesn't help. Yeah, oh, it's, wait, it's we a can, big uh... Choice. Nice weather, ah! Huh? Mm. Mm. Had to do it. <clears throat> Things don't seem to be going well between him and the princess. What's the matter? He doesn't have an answer, but seems to appreciate your concern anyway. Why do you stick with her anyway? Mario fidgets a little. What's Ask again, wrong? or run your mouth. R what's wrong, Mario? Come on, what's the matter? You can talk to me. D say something! Say... But explain. Mario hesitates a moment, but explains. <laughs> <laughs> I see. That's I recognize that. That's uh, that's that from that video. Uh, Mario and Luigi argue. Yeah. You seen that one? Uh, yeah. Hey, there's also there, the there is that one. There's a couple games like that DOS game where Mario does speak in full sentences, and I think Mario teaches typing. Well, I, I, I hope they get some of... lines from that, but they might be too low quality. How can you teach typing just by going wahoo? That's that, I think that's where the let's get ready to move your fingers. I think where that that's where that come from. <laughs> it seems as though the princess hasn't had time for Mario lately. <laughs> that she hasn't really had time for anyone. <laughs> Mario feels a little lonely <laughs> since Luigi's been busy too. <laughs> Even the toads are swamped with work at the castle. <laughs> he hasn't had anybody to have fun with or even rescue. Nobody showed up at his last tennis tournament either. Wow, that's that's kind of sad. That After he sad. finishes venting, he looks at you sadly. It seems he needs a friend. Will you offer him your hand? Yes. yes. <clears throat> I'll hang out with you, Mario. Hmm. He seems to have something on his mind. He leans over the picnic towards you. Wow, this was really easy, even by 
by visual novel standards. Mario's a simple guy. He has simple tastes. He still, you, you know, you, you, you eat his spaghetti and meatballs, you, you suck on his sausage, he's good. Stare back. You stare back into his eyes. He leans in closer. You feel your mustache twitch. There's a slight quiver in your lips. Slowly, the two of you drift closer and closer until finally, finally. the fuzz of your mustaches touch, noses caressing one another, and your lips intertwine. You catch pasta sauce on his breath, or perhaps it's your breath. Now, if Mario eats his spaghetti without sauce, it can't be Mario's. Either way, spaghetti. it lasts for what feels like a mere second, but likely it was much longer before an inch is put between the two of you again. Two of you smile a little at one another. So I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. You nod, and he nods back. It's a little awkward, but it feels nice. You pick yourself up off the blanket and wave him goodbye, heading back to your motorcycle to make your way home. It's late now, so you get into your PJs and hunker down for bed when you arrive, still a little dazed. You lay awake, thinking about the kiss. What does this mean for your relationship? Will it work out? You feel nervous in a way that you don't recall experiencing before. But for all your doubt, in the end, you know that things will work out. Because after all, <laughs> what are your hot stuff, baby? That's a good, that's a good way to end it. What are your hot stuff, baby? Should we, uh, should we see like one of the other heartbreak routes, or is this it? Yeah, uh, I think, I think this. Is... Well, let, we'll let, let them. Uh... Find a, like find them all because uh, it will give them something. We'll give them a reason to play it. All right, so this is this is our stopping point. That this was Wario stopping. date. A lot of Pretty love fun. went into it. Yeah, it, it, a lot of effort. It wasn't. It didn't. It either felt like a really elaborate shit post or uh, or just like the guy really believed in what he was doing. And you know the what? It, it 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 caught them when they happened, but it was actually less typos than a lot of retail games. Yeah. Definitely most like, fan games. Yeah. Anyway. It, it was it was alright. It was uh, certainly an interesting experience, so. Happy Valentine's, and we'll probably maybe be back for something tomorrow. We'll see. We'll Thanks see. for watching. See you see later. See you next time.